losses and skimmings of your galvanizing bath. It's easy to control and loading and unloading is straightforward. As we run through the process, it's important to remember that the drum must be allowed to rotate for the full three hours, or you'll have a lumpy and useless residue in the drum, instead of the light and free-flowing powder that should be there at the end. This is the melting drum, and the first job is to close off the cast hole with thermal insulation fibre. Push the fibre in and check that the seal is tight, and check that it's not going to fall into the drum. Carefully screw on the security cap and tighten it. Never use this cap without the fibre plug or it'll leak. You now set the drum on its end and fill it with ash skimmed from the zinc bath, loading it with about 500 to 800 kilograms of ash. Close the drum and use a forklift to take it to the MZR. This is where two people are needed to load the drum carefully onto the drive axle. Make sure the MZR is in the lowered position, so that the forklift driver has a straight run, while the other operative sights through the inspection hatch and guides the driver in. It's a big, square drive spindle, so this is not too hard. Close and lock the furnace door. There's a safety interlock on the door, and then tilt the furnace up to its operating angle. Now you can start the rotation and light the burner. After this, the furnace automatically heats up to the right temperature and the special blades inside the drum, combined with the burner, allow the zinc to be recovered over the next three hours. The temperature will run up to 530 degrees centigrade. After reaching 530 degrees centigrade, it'll fluctuate between approximately 515 and the 530 for the duration of the cycle. It's a good idea to check the furnace now and again to make sure it's reaching the right operating temperature. At the end of the cycle, switch off the burner and rotate the drum so that the security cap and plug can be reached through the observation hatch. Remove the cap and push the fibre into the drum before rotating the drum so that the cast hole faces down and the zinc can flow into the mould. For this part of the process, the furnace should be between 450 and 460 degrees centigrade. You can only check this by taking the temperature of the outflowing liquid zinc. When the zinc stops flowing, rotate the drum so that the security cap and fibre can be replaced. Turn the motor on to start the drum rotating. Don't open the furnace door for at least half an hour so that the drum can cool down as it rotates. This gives the best result for the residue that's left in the barrel. After this, you can remove the drum but don't take the lid off for at least two hours so it can cool completely and to allow the pressure to equalize.